honor of Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, the city highlights two employees, Marie from Water Resources and John from the Greensboro Fire Department. I hope their stories offer insights into what it means to be Asian Pacific American at the city of Greensboro. I was born in Guam, in Guam is U.S. territory, and it is part of the states. It's one of the Marianas Islands, and both of my parents are from Guam, so I am Guamanian or Chamoru, and it's a very small island. It is, um, a lot of my cultural tradition has to do with family. Everything revolves around being a family, and so I do carry that into the way that I conduct myself here at work. Oh, I'm from the Philippines, um, Quezon City, uh, it's in Manila area, uh, one of the main cities in the Philippines, and I moved here when I was five and uh, lived in Greensboro ever since. I actually wanted to be uh, going to military and either be uh, either pilot or somebody, like a, a soldier, but um, I didn't know, I didn't know what, we, what we did when I was in college, and then my, uh, my roommate was a volunteer at the fire station. He's like, hey, come with me and just hang out and see what we do. And I started firefighting. And I was like, man, this is awesome. A typical day for me would be to come in and touch base with our staff to determine what it is we're doing on that day. Um, basically, check my emails, figure out if we need to rearrange our schedule, and communicate with my staff, and then do administrative things. Day starts off pretty early. You get here around 7:15, 7:30. Um, first, one of the first things I do is relieve the senior man that's uh, in my seat, and then um, get my gear on the truck and check our equipment for the day. Make sure everything's running operational, and make sure we have the stuff we need for the day to answer calls and serve the citizens of Greensboro. I average about five or six calls sometimes a day. And there's three shifts, A, B, and C shift. Um, I'm on A shift, so we work for 24 hours. And then B shift comes in, 8 o'clock next morning, and then we're off for 48, and then we come back on after two days. I like the fact that at the end of the day, when we walk out of here, we know that we have contributed to protecting the health of the public. That's what we, I really like about my job professionally. What I like about my job personally is that I have a very diverse group of people um, that where I work with and we have, we get along very well. We embrace each other's culture. We learn about each other's culture. Um, I mean, we, we do, we celebrate each other's cultural um, diversity. There is a familial feel to our staff and the, and the water supply lab because we have a lot of different, we have diversity first. Um, but I also think it's because the people that are actually here, it's each individual person, they contribute something individually and they have the, um, the same standards that, that we have that we're here for each other, that um, first and foremost we're here to protect public health and the best way to do that is to accomplish it through a team. My mother is the only one that like, pretty much raised me and um, everything I did leading up to where I am now I just kind of wanted to impress her, you know, make her proud. Don't want to do anything that would compromise that and I guess that kind of same, same thing here, like I don't want to let my guys on the truck down, you know, I want to, I want to show them that I got their backs and my the guys I'm with, we're, we're like family. Um, we're very close knit. Um, I'm just like one of them. They're like, they're, we're all the same people. They're my brothers and sisters. I want to be there for, for them and contribute, contribute to the truck, making the guys proud. I would like for others to see me as a very competent person um, and one who exhibits the core values of the city respect, honesty, integrity, and stewardship. I would also professionally like for people to know that the core values definitely are part of who I am, um, especially the part of stewardship. And so that's what's attractive about this position specifically is that we provide a service for our customers and we're protecting public health.
by providing safe drinking water. The Philippines, whenever I go visit, I just, I just think of like how, you know, lucky and blessed I am to be here and um, being on this job, because uh, the firefighters there, the fire department there, their, their equipment is just totally run down. They don't have the adequate water supply we have here in America. They don't have the staffing issues. I mean, they have a lot of staffing issues that we don't have here. And just seeing that, I definitely appreciate a lot more like what I've been given and given the opportunity to, to you know, be here, like get op the opportunity to be here and just, you know, really fun job and still can't believe I'm getting paid for it. I am definitely a Pacific Islander. I'm very proud of where I come from and I would like other people, you know, would like them to know that I'm from Guam. And I can sing you the Guam National Anthem in English, but not in Guamanian. <laughs> to support city diversity and inclusion programming, we're proud to highlight Marie and John. Showcasing their stories is a part of a larger effort to provide education on culture, ethnicity, and abilities. The City of Greensboro is a welcoming and inclusive workplace. We look forward to working with you and our entire Greensboro community.